fierce. You gotta know your fears. You gotta own them. There was once a, a, a schoolboy back in, I think, South Minnesota. And that schoolboy would walk to school. And he had two routes he can go. He can go a shorter route that was about maybe half a mile. But one of his neighbors had a huge dog similar to that that would always be kind of off the leash and willing to hop over the fence and bite him. So there was a way to walk around, but walking around was an extra two and a half miles to get to school. So this little schoolboy, for months, would walk around the long way to get to school, keep walking around, keep walking around, and then as time went on, he's like, you know what, I'm going to confront that dog, and I'm going to, I'm going to say something to him, and I'm going to just beat him up or whatever. He, he starts, he sees the dog, he starts walking towards him, he goes, dog's a big dog. <laughs> I mean, I miss a problem. And so he just runs, he just other way, back the wrong way. He kept procrastinating, saying, I'm going to do it, I'm going to not do it for weeks. Eventually, he's like, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get a baseball bat, go to MC Sports, and it's about to be some animal abuse up in this. <laughs> so he grabs the bat. He, he starts walking through a regular, just holding the bat, swinging it. Dog, let's you know, the dog actually got over the fence, ran it right for him. He's like, you know what, let's go, let's go. And then the dog comes up, goes to bite him, the dog didn't have teeth. <laughs> no teeth. Our fears don't have teeth. The event that you create in your mind is 70,000 times worse than the actual occurrence that's going to happen. Every single time. Okay? Who knows the heart of action? Who doesn't know? Who knows, the heart, who knows what the heart of action is? Anyone take a guess? Or what, what is one thing that naturally has to be present every single time that will cause an action to happen? Anyone take a shot in the dark? A feeling. A feeling, okay. Has there ever been a time we had a feeling to do something and then you still didn't do it? That's, that's not the part of action then. But it's different. Any other guesses? Clarity. Clarity? Have you ever been clear about something and still didn't take action? One more guess, anybody? Will. Will? Have you ever been willed to do something but you still didn't do it? See, the heart, this, the heart of action is something that no matter what, when this is present, you will take the action. Choice. Choice. You've chosen to do things, but you were like, ah, maybe not. I'll give you the answer. The heart of action is a dance between the action that you want to do and what is going to occur to you once you take that action. It's all occurrence. You came here today because it occurred to you that you was going to hear a speech about it, creating your greatest business hero. You got some coffee because it occurred to you that you're going to get some energy or fill yourself up or taste good coffee or whatever it is. Every action has a prerequisite of a current before we take the action. So if you want to change your habits and change your actions, don't try to change the actions, change what occurs to you. People, I used to get, I used to get so nervous like, before I used to get, I used to be out there just trembling because it occurred to me that people would laugh at me and all of that stuff. The interesting thing is that the more I thought that in the very beginning, I was getting laughed at, I was getting rude and all that stuff happened. But I changed the occurrence of what's going to happen to me if I do this and it actually becomes intimate.